or watched the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. You all familiar with that line from If, the great poem by Rudyard Kipling? I love that. It's one of my favorite poems in the world because every line describes so much of what it takes to live this life. It's talking about being a man, it should be about being a, the right kind of person, but every line, every stanza speaks truth. <clears throat> and I just had something happen to me in the last couple of days that uh, I'm going to share with you. And uh, it's described by those lines. First off, welcome to Integrative Preparedness. I'm Steve Smith. Uh, welcome to all the new people, on, both on YouTube and on Patreon. It's great to have you here. Uh, I just put up something, uh, a video over on Patreon about the importance of connections. It's one that I think uh, you might like to, to watch. It's, it's a story um, <clears throat> about how the, the famous fight in the Colosseum in, uh, in the Bruce Lee movie, what was it called? Enter the Dragon, how that came about. Actually, it's something was Bob Wall called me recently, and, and uh, we got to talking. If you don't know who Bob Wall is, he's, well, he's, I won't give too much away, but he, he did all the early stuff with Lee. He played the, uh, the um, what was his name in the movie, the villain O'Hara in, in that movie, Enter the Dragon, and uh, <clears throat> was partners with, uh, Joe Lewis and his karate studios and then Chuck Norris still does a lot with Norris. And so anyway, <clears throat> we were talking about, you know, we were talking about the old days and, and uh, he told me a story about how that happened. And very, very interesting and illustrates the importance of, of connections. <clears throat> um, okay. What happened? Many of you know that I've been coming to the end of finishing the fifth book in the Stonemont series, <clears throat> The Blessings of Freedom. Um, I'd say I'm probably, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm close to the end. Uh, my, old, my old laptop was running slow, and uh, I didn't want to take it in to get it fixed without having a backup, um, because I, didn't, I, I have all of my stuff on that laptop. And I don't like it to let it get out of my sight. All my books, all my everything is on that. Um, so I went and bought a new laptop that's screaming fast. I love it. Um, and so I was going to transfer. I wanted to save everything off of the, the first laptop before I took it in. And then, you know, keep it on thumb drives and external drives and things like that. Well, as I was doing that, and I was saving all of the books um, and covers and everything, all the files, I uh, was transferring it, I thought, to the thumb drive. Um, instead of hitting copy, I hit move because I'm a computer idiot. I don't do this stuff, you know very often and I hit move so that took it off of my old laptop right and put it onto the thumb drive should have so I said okay well that's no big deal I'll just go to the thumb drive and then I will reload it I'll load it on the new one I'll load it on several different places hi guys uh, hi guys they're just coming in from all the, all the guys coming in from their last day of school before Christmas. It's a half day, so I'll be with you guys in a few minutes. Uh, so we're ready for our Christmas vacation. Anyway, and yeah, we call it Christmas. Anyway, so this, uh, I, I checked. I was, okay, no, no problem. I've got another thumb drive, right? I went up to the thumb drive, and none of it was there. None of it. Now, I have some friends who are big time computer guys, and maybe the first one I'm going to ask is Aiden. <laughs> he might know that somewhere it's backed up secretly. I don't know. If it is, I didn't do it on purpose. Uh, but 
I'll try to get with some of them and see if anything can be done. But right now, I don't know what can be done. And all my books have been wiped off. Now, I mean, they're still out there, you know, and published. They can, they can, you can get them on Amazon or, or wherever. Uh, but apparently, I have lost all of my files, when including the latest book that I was going to finish here in the next couple of weeks on Christmas vacation. Anyway, now are they lost entirely? So you know, you know, you can imagine how I felt, right? And immediately that line came to, to me and watch the things you gave your life to, broken, and then uh, stoop and build them up with worn out tools. Now maybe a lot of you know how I write my books, and it's kind of ridiculous to be honest. Uh, I don't know how to type. So I type out all of my books in the notes program on my phone, this phone, right here. So I, I, I just type it out. And then after I've got a certain amount, I, 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 what do I do? I email it to myself through one account to another account. But that, that doesn't, that just puts it into raw, it's not formatted or anything. Um, or it wipes out the format or something. I don't remember. <clears throat> uh, and then I have to take it. I have to, after I've emailed it from one account to another account, and then I <clears throat> copy it, paste it in the notepad program on my laptop. And then I take, and that wipes out all the incorrect, apparently. It wipes out all the incorrect formatting. And then I put it, send it over to the Word program, and then I paste it there, and then I format it. It's, it's, a, it's a laborious process. Uh, I don't really mind it because I do it a little bit at a time. Um, but but it's, it's a ridiculous process. It's, you know, if I were a really big timer, I'm sure I'd have people do this for me, right? But to be honest, I kind of enjoy it. Um, I, you know, I, I, I write the books, I edit, I, I find most of the, the typos, and uh, I design the covers and all that, and I really enjoy all the process, so I don't mind it at the time. But this is a problem. The good thing about this is even though apparently I've lost all my files, well, I have them in the saved emails in two different accounts. So what that means, I'm going to have to go back and one by one, which it's not like a whole chapter of each one. It's not like I can just bring out 35 chapters. It's like, you know, there's probably three or four emails that contain parts of a chapter. So I'm going to have to go back in all the books, and restructure, go to the emails, take them through that whole process, copy, put it in the notes program, put it into a new Word program, and a whole new book, and reconstruct all of those books. Now, don't worry, I'm going to finish, I'm going to do the latest one first, I'm going to get that finished, it might take me longer now than it's already taken me, it's taken me a while, uh, but uh, I'll be able to get that done, hopefully, so that's where I'm at. Anyway, I thought that I would share that with you, um, simply, you know, saying that sometimes we got knocked, we get knocked down. Sometimes life just takes a, a weed eater to our plans, right? And, uh, but if you've got backups to your backups, hopefully you're okay, right? What do we say? Two is one and one is none. Well, it's a good thing that I had three. Because hopefully I've got two. If I had relied on that one, it all would have been gone. So anyway, hey, if you're praying in person, pray for me. Pray that it's in in uh, in my email somewhere and uh, and I can get it done. But anyway, that was my 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 tale of of sorrow today. Uh, my advice. Back up, back up, back up. And, uh, you know, if you get hit in the head with something, try to shake it off and just go back and build it back up with whatever worn out tools you've got. Because if you were headed in the right direction to begin with, it's worth whatever it takes to do it again. Okay? You all have a good day. Remember that we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow. And I hope I prepared well by saving enough copies of that. So, 
You all have a good day. Go over and check out that one over there. So <laughs> I think you'll like that story about how, how Bruce Lee got to fight in, uh, in the uh, Coliseum. And uh, you all have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.